Let's talk about the differences between a peer-to-peer -peer network and a client-to-server network. The first thing I want to point out is that a peer-to-peer -peer network computer is part of a work group, whereas a client-to-server computer is part of a domain. The next thing I want to say, this might sound like a big fancy word, but I'll explain everything in a moment. A client-to-server computer has centralized authentication, whereas a peer-to-peer -peer computer does not have centralized authentication. Let's get into further details about what this means. So imagine yourself, you went to Best Buy. You picked out a brand new laptop and you went ahead, brought it home and connected it to your internet. So now that your laptop is connected to the internet, now you can access all of your services that you normally would. For whatever reason, you downloaded LimeWire to download the new Cannibal Corpse song. Luckily for you, Jane over here, she uploaded the new song on her computer and you were able to pull it from the internet from her computer onto your laptop. You did not need to be part of a domain to do this. You just needed an internet connection. You don't need a server at home. If you bring home another laptop, this laptop will not have the same wallpaper, it won't have the same login credentials or password, and it won't have the same files that you've stored on this laptop as this laptop. You can try copying and pasting them over. You can plug the two laptops together to transfer them over as well to back them up. Now let's talk about our client to server network on the other side. So on this side you'll notice we have a lot more devices going on before we get into the internet. Just as this laptop, it's connected to the internet through this device called a firewall. After the firewall comes a device called a router. The router is connected to a server. This server stores all of the information of your login credentials. Over here, it's connected to a switch where we have four different computers connected to it. We have three laptops and one desktop. Now, if you connected to this laptop over here and logged in with your credentials and downloaded the latest Lamb of God album, then you could save that Lamb of God album to your OneDrive, let's say, or just any other shared folder. And it could be uploaded to the server over here so that when you log into this laptop, you could use your same login credentials and that album will be on there. You could log into this one and you could log into this one. But if Jane logs into this laptop, she won't be able to see that because she has her own login credentials and she has her own items and files that have been stored on the server over here so that when she accesses any laptop, she can be able to pull those files. I'm sure you're familiar with this. When you're going to a library or you're in your high school, even if you're at work at that office, then you know you could log into any single computer and your files will all be there. You can access it all from the centralized authentication server. And now those are just the bare basics of the peer-to-peer -peer and client-to-server network. I'm sure you could go further into detail on this, but I've hoped you've found some valuable information on what I had to talk about today, and I'll see all you nerds on the next video.